get pictures from this angle, zoom in, so the headlight is just on the screen. You know, if you're gonna get a picture of a headlight, don't get a picture from here, get it zoomed in, so the headlight sort of touches either side of the screen. Same on the wheels, okay? If you're taking a picture of a wheel, make sure it's not like that. Get the whole wheel in your frame and take a picture there. Obviously, this, this Volvo's got a really cool interior. It's an R design. Volvo make exceptional leather. And uh, so, interior-wise, that's an angle you want to use. Okay, that's, that's one of your first pictures of the interior. Get a picture of all the doors if you can, if you've got enough room to put that many pictures in. Pictures here. One of the passenger seats on its own. And obviously one of the centre console. Always try and get one of the mileage if you can. And what also makes the vehicle look a little bit better, if you switch the engine on, obviously all the lights on the interior, on the dash, the radio, the console, etc. They will all be on, and it just makes your pictures look a little bit better. Okay, I open all doors on a vehicle and go right the way round it. As I say, in the past, people have said to me, you know, one guy bought a um, 2006 3 Series off me recently, and his comment, I'll never forget it, he was like, who is this guy? Why is he taking 100 pictures? of this car, you know, but he came up from London to buy a 2006 BMW. So he answered his own question. The reason why I take a hundred pictures, so the likes of yourself, Mr. Jones can come up from London and you know what you're getting yourself in for. You know, don't hide anything from the customers. If you know there's a major mark on the car, it's always advised to either you know, mention it, price it accordingly, or get a touch-up pen from Halfords and touch it in. Any major dents on doors, here's the final little tip. Any sort of major dents on doors, it might be worth you sort of getting a body shot to, to, to paint the vehicle, to get the dents out of the vehicle. Because obviously, we sell a lot of new driver cars, Corsas, Fiestas, and so on. And if you've got it, a gentleman or a lady looking for a car for the daughter, for example, they're not going to be want to buy the daughter a car that's got a big dent down the door. So again, you need to get them eight, nine out of ten. Cosmetically and mechanically, you can't leave any stone unturned. So I hope that's a little bit of an insight into, you know, how to maximise what you can achieve, how much money you can get out of your car, and the best way to advertise them. It's what I do on every vehicle. It sort of takes me a good hour, hour and 20 minutes to picture a vehicle and do a video of the vehicle. Uh, the other final thing actually, which has just, just come to me memory is um, if you've got pictures of the, the, the paperwork, any service history, and you're selling it on social media, things like that, it's always worthwhile taking a picture of all the stamps that are in the book and always advertised if it's got two keys or, or, or if it hasn't got two keys, I, would, I wouldn't say one key, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I would just steer clear of that one. However, um, yeah, that's as much as I can tell you, really. So I hope this vehicle made sense, and I hope somebody benefits from it. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Any questions, get in touch. Thank you.